welcome back to this how-to series for Psycho Experience Commerce. My name's Rob Earlham, and today we're going to be looking at how you can manage the inventory for the items you have for sale on the site. You can see I've loaded up the Commerce Business Tools, and on the left you can see the main navigation for each of the different sections of data you're going to manage. We're looking at inventory today, so we're going to jump straight into the inventory section. The first page you're shown here is a list of the inventory sets you have set up on the site. An inventory set is basically a grouping of inventory data for a set of sellable items. And a good example of when this would be used would be for handling different warehouses of stock. So let's go into the habitat inventory. Once you access the inventory set, you're prevented with a series of data for what it contains. But the bit we're going to be focusing on today is at the bottom, and that's the list of sellable items. Here you can see all of the sellable items that exist within this inventory set and the different levels of quantity that are applied. So let's take a look at a couple of interesting examples. If we start with the third one here for a set of headphones, the first thing you need to do is select the row itself. After that, you'll see a drop arrow on the right hand side. This gives you a series of options that allows you to interact with the inventory settings for that sellable item. In this case, we're going to edit its inventory. Here you get a pop-up which lists all of the different inventory options you have available. The first field specifies the on-hand quantity. This is the amount that's actually in stock today available to buy. Moving further down, you can see the currency which is set up. In this case, it's United States dollars. We then have the ability to make this item pre-orderable. That means that if you have a product which is going to be available at a future date, but you want people to be able to order it ahead of time to have it shipped when it is available, you can set that here. You enable the pre-orderable checkbox. You set the date it's going to be available. And then you set the actual limit of how many can be pre-ordered. Following on from that, we have the back orderable settings. What this enables you to do is once a product has sold all of its on hand quantity, this allows users to be able to place a back order, meaning that once the product comes back into stock, their order will then be processed and the product will be shipped out to them. To enable that, you select the back orderable checkbox. You enter a date specifying when the product will be available again. And similarly to with pre-ordering, you can set a back order limit, meaning you can place a limit on the number of items that are actually back orderable. So let's take a look at some of these other products and how they're configured. If we look at the first one in the list here, we can see the quantity field is set to zero, meaning it isn't currently in stock. However, if we scroll down, we can see the back orderable settings have been enabled. The checkbox is ticked. There's a date that's been specified for the future. And there's been a limit of 100 back orderable items. If we take a look at the second item in the list. Once more, you can see the quantity is set to zero, meaning it's not currently in stock. However, the pre-orderable checkbox has been enabled, meaning it's possible for users to order this in advance for when it becomes available. We have an availability date and again, a pre-order limit, this time set to 10,000 items. Another thing that's helpful here, if you click the right hand menu, you have an option to transfer inventory. What that allows you to do is specify a different inventory set and to move quantity values between the two. This means if you have different warehouses containing the same stock, you can transfer quantities between the two of them. There is another way to view the inventory that's available for a product, and that's within the actual merchandising section itself. If we head back to the e-commerce homepage, we can jump into the merchandising section, into the Habitat Master Catalog, we're going to go into one of the categories which has some sellable items. We're going to open up one of these sellable items. And we're going to view its variants. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the inventory set that's been assigned to this variant. Here you can see there's currently an on-hand quantity of 10,000 available. So that's giving you a quick walkthrough of how easy it is for you to manage inventory using Sitecore Experience Commerce. Thanks for watching, 
and don't forget to watch the rest of the how-to series.